Hi everybody, and welcome to the Getting Started with Instructbot tutorial video series. In this video, I'll be showing you what input commands are used for and how to create them. I have a number of input commands created. They range from pressing a single key or mouse button to doing a number of key presses and or mouse movements. A simple example of this is my Alt F4 command. It has a single action which presses both the left Alt and F4 keys. A more complex example of this is my spray left command. This presses the left mouse button, turns 45 degrees to the left, then over three seconds, strafes back and forth 90 degrees to the left, right, and then left before then releasing the left mouse button. You can see both of these commands perform the actions in the order defined to mimic what you would manually do. This gives you a brief overview of the specifics of an input command. I'm now going to switch over to my tutorial configuration and walk you through how to create various input commands. I hope this will help explain how to create an input command in general and then the action types in more detail. Navigate to the input commands and press the add button. You should set the name and description to something appropriate for the command. In this case, I'm going to name it Alt F4 and describe it as forces my game closed. The active application required dropdown controls if the command will be executed when the active application has input focus. You can choose required, unrequired, or default. Required will ensure the command is only executed when the active application has input focus. Unrequired will not check to see if the active application has input focus and instead just execute the command. Default will resolve to required or unrequired depending upon the command type. In general, input commands require an active application, so they default to required. As I want the application to be active when the command runs, I can leave this on default and use the standard behavior. Public controls if other users of Instructbot can download the command. If you want to share this command, toggle it on. The cooldowns control how often the input command can be executed. The global cooldown applies to everyone, whereas the user cooldown is per viewer. For example, if you set the global cooldown to 5 and the user cooldown to 60, the command can be executed at most once every 5 seconds, but a single viewer will only be able to execute once every 60 seconds. As I don't mind how often my Alt F4 command is executed, I'm not going to set any cooldowns. The help settings control if the command is shown with the default help command or a specified help command. As I want this command to be shown in my default help command, I'm going to toggle use default on. The queue settings control how the command is executed. By default, all input commands are executed on the same queue in the sequence they are triggered. As I want all my input commands to execute in sequence so they don't overlap or cancel each other out, I can leave it on use default for the standard behavior. The sound effects settings control what, if any, play sound commands are run at the start and end of this command. I don't want any sound effects, so I'm going to leave these on none. As an Alt F4 command can normally be used by any application, I'm going to be adding this to my common profile. I'm going to be adding a bit and donation trigger to the command. As I don't want this command to be available for free or points, I'm going to add triggers for them. This completes the general setup of an input command. The only difference between this command and the other input commands I'm going to create will be the activation and triggers. For example, some will be linked to different profiles and the trigger amounts will be different. Now I need to set up the actions. To do so, I need to open the add dropdown, navigate to and add the key press. To set the key press when the action is executed, select the key input and press the F4 key. I can then check the left alt modifier. This key press action will now send the left alt and F4 keys to the application when executed. This will finish the configuration of the alt F4 command. The only thing left to do is press apply and save the changes. I'm going to copy and paste the command a number of times to duplicate it. Editing one of the duplicates, I'm going to rename and re-describe it before updating the activation and triggers. Thank you. 
I've done the same for all the other commands I'm going to create. For the run command, I know I need to perform a sequence of key presses that will hold the W key. Press the left shift key for a duration and then release the W key. This can be done by adding a key down action for the W key. For testing the command, I know I need to add a slight pause for the key down action to be registered, so I will add a 200 millisecond wait. I can then use a key press action with a duration of 5 seconds to press and hold the left shift key. I know I need to add a slight pause for the key press action to be registered, so I'll add a 200 millisecond wait. Once that is completed, I need to release the W key, which I can do by adding a key up action. With the action list complete, I can click apply to save the changes and then test the command. To test the command, I'm going to set an execution delay and then click run. You can see that I then run forwards for the required amount. I have added the actions for a shoot command. You can see that it just performs a single left mouse button click. Again, you can test this command by loading into the game and triggering it. This wraps up how to create an input command. If you'd like to learn more, please look at other tutorial videos in this series, visit our website, or join our Discord. Links to both the Discord and website are in the description below.